What's going on guys? In this video, we go to a bunch of awesome Funko Pop stores in Seattle and we also go to a massive mall that had just so many Funko Pop stores in it and we found some really cool grails at some of those stores and some other awesome pieces. So don't miss out, here we go and let's get the video started. Let's do this. Okay guys, so our first stop is gonna be here at this store. We're gonna get some footage around, oh, this is Everett Comics, by the way, of some of their new pops that they have going around. So if you wanna take a look, they have a good section back here of a bunch of different things. So we got some Simpsons that are right there, some Disney that are mixed in here, some of the Make-A-Wish pops. Yeah, lots of really good stuff. Ooh, they have a Daffy Duck. Wonder, $40. Okay, so that, that is accurately priced. I was gonna say I was gonna pick that up, but definitely um, at price of what it is right now. But yeah, kind of looking around, Parks and Rec, some television, some Star Wars. Ooh, the Dark Trooper, that's a new one. The Child, what else do we have in here? Spider-Man PX previews, Kid Loki, Daredevil's down there. Yeah, lots of interesting things. Ooh, Captain America with the prototype shield. Specialty series Strange. Ooh, for $20. It $20. seems a little expensive to me. But um, yeah, some decent stuff. And then they have a couple of Pop Rocks that are over here. And then they had something kind of interesting that, that what I thought was kind of cool. They have replacement boxes, which I don't know if I've ever seen a store sell replacement boxes. $2 each. Nothing that I needed, but still pretty cool. And then also Funko Sodas, so Fuzzy Lumpkins, Green Lantern, Mad Hatter, Chernabog Box, Baxter, Stockman, Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, not bad. Quack. Okay, next stop of the day is Bobacon Collectibles, well, Toys and Collectibles. We're gonna go head inside and uh, see what cool pops they have in there. So starting off in the back section, they do have some things that are in a case back here. So let's take a look at these. They have some good ones in here. Jack in the Box is a good one. Original Two-Face is really cool. Got Swag Hammer, Kurt Cobain, John Hammond is one that's been going up recently with the new Jurassic Park movie coming out. The Grinch, you got a McNugget. Tigress is another one that's been on the rise lately. Got some Aqua Sox ones, not bad. Nice, you got a Chase Joker. Peter Griffin is a cool one. Another Kurt Cobain. Kind of come down here, another Webley, some more Aqua Socks, and a Popeye. Yeah, they got some good ones in this case. Oh, there's some good ones in here too. We have some of the Simpsons ones, the Curse Barbosa. I know that one's been on the rise lately. Wiley Coyote, Nibbler's a cool one. I love Futurama Pops. Let's see what else we have. Some of the um, Haunted Mansion ones. Ooh, dang, the Thousand Piece ones with like Ezra and Phineas, regular one, like the Parks exclusive with Gus. Still some awesome ones. All right, we have the Hollywood Tony the Tiger and Ghostbuster Conan, Lucky the Leprechaun, Bumble from Rudolph, Mr. Monopoly. Good ones for sure. All right, you got a nice cool display here, guys, of some out of box stuff. I wonder if there's any little gems in here. Well, I guess that one's a decent one. You have little Sebastian. That's definitely one that's not cheap when it's got a box. I think, is that Dark Phoenix? I can't remember, that's an original one too. Ant-Man Unmasked is decent. Trying to see if there's anything else. Some Star Wars ones mixed there. Original Green Lantern might be a good out-of-box one. Oh, you got Glenn that's back there. Judge Dredd. Yeah, not bad. Some decent ones for sure. Kind of just panning through everything. Pretty awesome. All right, before we hit up their main section and their display, other display cases, got a nice little section over here. Just some, some random things, add icons, some animation. Pretty cool, not bad. Okay, grail case number one. It looks like there's some of the same stuff that was here last time I was here, but there's also some new things as well. So let's take a look up there. They have a couple of sign pops. You got Snow White, Aang, ooh, Wally the Green Monster's cool. I love my MLB mascot pops. Cheshire Cat, Freddy Funko, Mahamana. Mahama, I don't even know. You know what I'm talking about. That guy from <laughs> from the Muppets over there. Ooh, just some really good ones. Ken Griffey, Hulk Hogan, Skeletor, Hatbox Ghost, some prototypes, the great Garlu. Oh my gosh, the Spaceman. Dang, Yadi Amelina is a good one. He Man, Dr. Teeth. Holy cow, guys. Lots of awesome ones in here. Good, good stuff, good stuff. 
Okay, real quick, I wanted to show these ones off to you. Check out these prototypes that they have in this case. Some Disney prototypes. That is something that you don't see every day. I love that scar. That is definitely a cool one. You have Rafiki and Timon. But check out some of these other grills that are in here. You got uh, the cow. I almost forgot his name. You have Oscar the Grouch. You got lots of good ones in here. Judo Freddy. They also have some of the banana splits. FYE Leonardo. Let's see, Orange Bird is an awesome one. Dang. Oh, and those mini ones too. Soli and Mike, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, and Snow White and the Little Queen. Ones that you definitely don't see every day. Okay. And there is their main section. Let's see if there, we can find anything that I am looking for. Okay, so I'll walk through everything. I'm not finding anything specifically that I am looking for, but a couple things that I wanted to point out to you that I thought were cool. A couple things that you don't see every day, like this Raven. Definitely a cool one. I think, is this a Chase right here? Yeah, Chase, Selena, Kyle. Yeah, but there's a couple other ones. Hiro Hamada from Big Hero 6. That's kind of an older one. It's kind of one that you don't see very often here from Inside Out. I have a nephew that loves Inside Out, so... I don't know, he already has that one. It's still an old pop you don't see often. But yeah, I can't really find anything else that I was gonna point out to you. I kinda lost track of everything, but good old DC wall, some television, some Disney, a little bit of everything, guys. I'm gonna kinda pan through so you can see everything, but not bad if you're ever here. Good selection. I actually did find another case of stuff, guys. They have some Star Wars and Star Trek things. $180 for an original, is it Gamorrean Guard? That's kinda crazy. I didn't know that one was that expensive. Some Star, original Star Trek is in there. Some other more expensive Star Wars stuff. Unmasked Vader is kind of cool. Qui-Gon Jinn. But I figured I'd show that to you. Stuff you don't see very often. Okay, so first up, guys. In this mall, there is a Hot Topic, and we're going to check it out real quick. We're here in the Funko section. They have a lot of cool stuff, guys. They have Venom sodas, which are cool. I don't know if I've ever seen those in person. Mighty Mouse sodas. I might need to buy a couple of those because they're buy one, get one 30% off. Pretty cool. They also have some mixed and new things here with, like, the Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. So you can kind of check those out. Some Hot Topic exclusives, like the Red Holt looks like a restock. Tinkerbell somewhat of a newer one. Also, the Rintra. I think that's how you say it. And also, this one is a new one, too. John Cena and The Rock. Definitely a cool one. You got some Funko Gold. But yeah, take a look at that. Lots of cool stuff in this Hot Topic. Might have to buy the Mighty Mouse ones. All right, you just got done at Hot Topic over there. Across the way is Phantom Zone Comics. Seems like a pretty cool store. He was saying that they had a good selection of pops. There's also three other places. Sorry, when I say he, there was this person that worked at Hot Topic that suggested that there's a lot of stuff in this mall. So we're gonna check out their Funko section here, see if there's anything good, and uh, should be fun. Okay, so as you walk into the store, guys, they have a display case where they have chases. Looks like they're $40, $30. So we have Super Saiyan, two Vegeta, Spider-Man, Japanese. And then we also have the Elena chase and Russell Wilson, vinyl gold chase. But back over there is where their main section is. So we're going to make our way back over there. But I figured I'd show these off to you first. All right, looks like they have some more PX preview stuff over here. So you have some Michelangelo's. You have the Shredder. Some more Spider-Man's. It's just common stuff. And Super Saiyan Vegeta. So all the chases that we saw back here, looks like all the commons are up on these shelves. In the back over here, guys, they do have the prototype of Captain America with the shield. That is pretty cool. That is the Entertainment Earth exclusive. Got some Batmans. Tons of restocks of Nova, Daredevil, Kitty Pride, and Hawkeye. If you can, guys can see that right up there. Pretty nice. And then it looks like they have more of a common wall of stuff over here. So you have your Marvel, your DC. One thing that I did notice that's kind of cool. You got the uh, Make-A-Wish Spider-Man. Pops with a purpose. Definitely a cool one. I haven't seen it much in my area. So $11.99, not a bad price on that. Definitely a pretty sought after pop in this line. Looks like there's a couple of Funko sodas that are down here. You have the Creed. I wonder how much they're charging. $16.99. So that's an Entertainment Earth exclusive, Mr. Owl, and Michael Scott. Okay, and then it looks like just more of the same regular stuff. If you guys want to kind of pan through, you got some Office, you have some Disney, Anime, Ghostbusters, Matrix, more Disney, some clearance pops that are over here as well. So. And again, not bad if you want some of these, like eight bucks. Pretty good deal on a common. I would take that. But anyways, I think that's gonna do it for the store. 
Not a bad selection, pretty awesome. Okay, up next guys, Box Lunch. This mall is absolutely massive. There's so many stores. So let's see if there's anything in Box Lunch I wanna pick up. All right guys, they got a pretty good selection of things in here. I kinda like the setup of this mall and their uh, selection of pops and everything, so let's check it out. Okay, so if you wanna check out the sodas real quick, they actually have some decent ones. They got Gizmo, they also have this one. What is this one? Flegel from uh, Banana Splits, Dark Side Yogi Bear. We might need to check for a chase on that guy. And then some anime exclusive ones. So this one, Spike, and also, what's this one, Faye? Both are box lunch exclusives. And then if you kind of look around, there's some more mixed in things. You got some Batman, some Funko Gold that's down there. Doctor Strange, which probably, I would assume, had a chase whenever this was put out. Um, some more Marvel. But yeah, kind of give you a good look of what this one looks like. The, uh, oh yeah, the Earth Day exclusive. Gandalf is another good one as well. But, um... I'm, I don't know. I might have to get a Yogi Bear. Thinking about it. Okay, next stop in this massive mall, we have Mind Games. We'll see what pops they got. First off, looks like I can see some in their window display. If you guys want to check that out, they have like the triple A, triple A anime exclusive Flynn. But I also see walking into the store, they have a display on the wall. So let's check it out. Okay, so here is their main section of figures, guys. Check it out. There is a lot of stuff here. So. I'll try and point out to you some of the cooler things, but if we're looking right here, we got some Simpsons, some Office, some television, some Star Trek, Star Wars, pretty cool, bunch of Marvel in there as well. Yeah, not bad, that's awesome. Got some more like animation related things, some Cartoon Network, more movies over here as well. Looks like right here, it's a mix of just like random like exclusives and things. Look at that Superman blue, which is kind of interesting. Some of those chrome Target Jokers. Looks like they do have some Funko sodas here. I wonder if there's any that I'm looking for. You got like Dwight, you got Ash, Peter Vankman. There's a little, is this Lucky? Yeah, Lucky. I'm trying to see if there's any that I need. I don't really see any right off the bat. I'll take a closer look and see. Okay, and then back on the other side, guys, looks like it's a good mix of like games and uh, retro toys, more Disney, more sports. So kind of just panning through everything so you guys can see. Pretty awesome. There is a couple of mascots mixed in here. I know one of them has gone up in price recently. I don't know if it's the Blue Jays one or not. I'll have to double check, but interesting to see some sports figures and then some other bigger pops as well but not bad this store is pretty sweet i'll keep looking around and see if there's anything else i want to show off to you guys but overall pretty awesome all right on my way to some other stores i came across go games i know that they're gonna have some pops because well they got a display in there so let's see what ones they have okay so i believe this is going to be their only spot that they have funko pops I don't know why I just said that so weird, but we have a couple of things in here. I don't know if there's going to be anything that I want to buy specifically, but they have some Entertainment Earth exclusives kind of mixed in there. What else do we have over here? We have the Bane, which is another exclusive. John Lennon. Yeah, ooh, also Crane. Not bad. That's kind of cool. You don't see that often. You got the Stitch that's down there, and then the Andy with crutches. I think as far as Funko, that might be it for the entire store. I'll keep looking around, but I think that's it. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, these are going to be the last two stops of the mall. You see GameStop over there and FYE. There's just so many stores in here. So let's go into both of them, and I think that'll wrap it up for the video. Okay, I'm not noticing much here in this GameStop that's, like, different to me. Yeah, that glowing Mr. Burns, which is kind of cool. Some other things mixed in here and there, that five-pack. But that was a pretty quick trip here inside of GameStop. I'll keep looking around, but I think that's it. Well, that GameStop was pretty anticlimactic, so we're going to go in FYE. Hopefully... Hopefully it's a little more entertaining in there. I'll tell you what, the music in here was so loud, so I have to do a voiceover, but for the most part, I didn't see anything too special here at this FYE. They had a couple of new mixed in things here and there, but it wasn't anything like too crazy or anything too awesome to know, honestly. I, I wonder sometimes when they get chases and everything, if they're all mixed in, because I did notice some of those new Ninja Turtle pops. But anyways, that was FYE for you. Okay, back at home, and I think a majority of what I bought, guys, was um Funko Sodas. So uh, let's open up some sodas and kind of do a little bit of a recap of the things that we saw. Okay, so from Hot Topic, they had buy one, get one free soda. Well, no, not buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one 30% off sodas. And so I saw that they had almost a whole case of Mighty Mouse ones. And this is kind of a lower piece one. So this is one out of the 7,500 
pieces that you can get of this and the chase would obviously be a one in six chance of that. So I figured let's test our luck out. Let's see if we get them. We got the wrapping off on both of these. Um, let's see what we got. All right, okay. So we're gonna close this up. Make sure we don't look at it. And I think the chase of this is black and white if I'm not mistaken. All right, here we go. We got, oh, looks like it's the common. Dang, that's a really small soda figure. So check that out. There is a Mighty Mouse, the common. Looking uh, really dapper and everything. Definitely a classic cartoon. I wonder, let me look at the, what is it just with the common pieces? Let's check it out. Oh, wow, the uh, the chase is really low on this, but this, if you have a common, it's one out of 6,250. Okay, number two, like I said, we already had the wrapping off. Take this out, put that back on there so we don't spoil it. And I mean, feels the exact same as the other one, like I said, but I think the chase is black and white, if I'm not mistaken. Three, two, oh, what? Well, it's just, it's it's another, it's another common. Well, either way, you know, it was a good deal on those sodas and um, I couldn't pass up a buy one, get one 30% off. So if anybody needs an extra Mighty Mouse, I've got one, I'll hook you up at retail. Okay, and then the last thing that I picked up actually from Box Lunch was another soda. And let's open this one up real quick. And um, this is Yogi Bear. We've actually opened up Yogi Bear on the channel before and I've been unsuccessful. I feel like I bought like probably like like six or seven of these so far. I think this is probably like the seventh one. So, I don't know, let's hope it's a chase. All right, we got it out of the bag. I think the chase of this is him flocked without the basket, I believe. So, I don't know, let's hope we can get lucky. And, oh man, it looks like it's another one with the basket. I'll show this off real quick though. This is another common. I have so many of these Yogi Bear commons, guys. It's not even funny. If you know somebody that's got the chase, let me know, because I'm definitely, um, definitely looking for it. But overall, guys, that's gonna do it for this Seattle hunt video. We saw so many cool things. I always love visiting other stores surrounding, surrounding Funko HQ whenever I'm out in that area. So we're talking like BobaCon, Everett Comics, and just some other random stores here and there. But Overall, I, I mean, I think it was really fun. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that I showed off in the video. We saw a lot of cool things. Unfortunately, we only bought sodas, but let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that I filmed in this video. Also, be sure to leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. If you guys wanna go and check out my Funko HQ video before this one, definitely go and do so. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to make it out to Seattle again to make more awesome content and to go to some of my favorite stores but guys thank you so much for watching again you guys are awesome and the best like always remember to be kind of one another always promote positivity i will see you in the next video catch you guys later <gasps>